Okay, I'm here. Hello. So, um, how's it going? I got all my tax forms in today, which means, uh, after, after I'm done fighting the Nazis, I'll be fighting the IRS. <laughs> taxes usually aren't that big of a you know they're not that big of a deal for me they might be for you know people with more sources of income but at the moment I've got two barely you don't have to deal with Rita yeah I don't know what Rita is I imagine the more complex your job is, the more complex your taxes. Unique to your state. Oh, just Ohio being fun. Sorry, I'm finishing a snack. Who is Madam Webb? I don't give a fuck. <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, fuck. A little tiny piece of uh, my snack went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> <laughs> they got me. They got me. They got me. They got. They poisoned me. Oh. Okay, so we're continuing the the new order. <coughs> as soon as I stop joking. Uh, hold on, actually. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck! I'm dying. Alright, I gotta give my controller another second to charge, because it's only at two bars and it's gonna piss me off. <clears throat> so, hold on, hold on. I got... <coughs> Watch! I never thought I'd die choking on meat. <sighs> I found this group today called the Northern Boys, which is like a collection of uh, old, old, olds from England, and they they rap. They they blew your mind, says Sky. Uh. There was a song by them. I gotta share a song by them. Viewer discretion is advised. This is to the beat of uh, American Boy. Soul 
on living in the studio flat that's covered in moles. Go outside just to shout to strangers and I crawl in a hole like an ugly mole. I love drugs and sketchy pills and my favourite ones are the ones that kill. Quickly, when I go when my loved ones miss me, well the answer's no. Chuck my corpse in a big main road, turn my head to a powdered skull. Let rain pour, turn that to mulch and that's the last scene of the Patrick show. As if glue gone paste and my face is plastic, having a gang back to Jackson 5. Right. I'm a ratchet guy, lost my wife for a black goodbye. No, don't talk to me, unless it's an emergency. I gotta go, I gotta take a number three. That's a piss and a shit and a wank in a tree. I said, hello there, can I fill your hole? She took one look and she told me no. I got a wife at home and she hates me. I sleep outside cause she makes me. Big bowl of the cocaine, that's me breakfast. I try crack once, I just wanted to test it and I'm hooked now. I could marry my pipe. My wife wouldn't care, she just wants me to die. It's party time, get your drugs out. If you wanna make love, get your muffs out. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you wanna make love to a sad old man? It's party time, get your drugs out. Out. If you want to make love, get your muffs out. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you want to make love to a sad old man? I said a hip, a hop, a hip, a dip my dick in the salsa dip on a taco Tuesday. Get a spaff on your boob legs. Yes. Feel free to say no. Bald bean and full of beans. I got a Yamaha keyboard drum machine. But I like a patch on my dungarees. I said, girl, can I get your number, please? Hang myself in the neighbor's garden. When he comes back, that's a nice surprise. Let the darkness just take your soul. Listen up, child. Close your eyes. Just pull it out. Don't cut me hair. Take my face. Stop a sink right there. I'm a dirty, wretched man. Call me granddad because I fucked your nan. What's the worth? Fuck the universe till it hurts I'm not used to these kinds of mental health issues I just want to live in a church and find peace Upon my brain Jesus, please just stop me pain I know you think that this is a game, but it's not Now watch me walk away I'm a love machine, I don't know when to stop I got a mouse right here that can make me cock Pink and red with a mighty bruise In the club too, stepping with my black school shoes Lunching meat in my boot cut jeans Chocolate on bread with a bit of knob cheese Taste it, would you like your bike? Give the clap to your wife and a wave good night. It's party time, get your drugs out. If you wanna make love, get your muffs out. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you wanna make love to a sad old man? It's party time, get your drugs out. If you wanna make love, get your muffs out. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you wanna make love to a sad old man? I need those guys to join my resistance group and help us take on the Nazis. Alright, we should be good now. We should be good now. <laughs> Let's play some Wolfenstein. Oh god, I fucking inhaled that cheese down the wrong tunnel. Alright, so last time we uh we went into a coma and then we woke up and it was the sixties and the Nazis had won the war. And now we're we're part of an underground resistance group in Berlin. It would be very fitting for Ramstein to be in this game. But instead we get uh, uh, German parody songs of our music, like American and, and British music and stuff. And, Why don't you sit with me, and Jimi Hendrix is right over here. Not kidding, by the way. So this is an alternate universe where where the the Nazis have won the war and every everywhere is fucked. Has no clue what Jimi Hendrix looks like. This guy's not like this guy's name is Jay and he's a musician and it's the 60s.
What can I do with his workbench? So, unlike the old blood, um, this this area, this game has the this this hideout area, which allows us to uh, break up the pacing a little bit. We can come here. We, we come here between missions, and it, it gives us a chance to just uh, have a have a, a short break from killing Nazis. There's also a cast of characters for us to meet. <clears throat> you know about before uh, going off on you like that, it's a force of habit. No worries, Johnny Cowboy. It's not the first time it happens. Yeah, perhaps you should consider removing them tattoos. I will, in time. I was, as you Americans say, all wet when I got them, and I'm sorry to say it was a very proud moment of my life. I want removing them to be an even prouder moment. No more Nazis, no more tattoos. So long as you don't get in the way of me killing Nazis, we'll see eye to eye. Caroline's looking for a document folder, Project Whisper. Oh, he is a human. Max doesn't speak English very well, but he does know Project Whisper. It's a risky business operation. He knows it will cost us to pull it out. Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Alles in Ordnung, mein Sohn. Wir werden für dich kämpfen. Caroline said you borrowed the folder. Do you have it here? I did take it two days ago, but I put it back. Go to the ground floor. The folder should be in the drawer in a desk in her room, where I left it. Look at this guy soldering. <coughs> soldering some radio equipment, it looks like. Okay. Must be Max's room. Max hiding in there is at the Project Whisper folder. Either need a crowbar or find a way around. Max Haas is a big guy, and we'll learn more about him. Hey, we found Char- um, fucking, uh, what's his name? Max Room from Always Sunny. No, oh, here's Wyatt, who we chose to save over Ferguson. Home, Captain. You know, I think I might need to catch some Z's. Yep. I'll see you when I wake up, okay? I saved Wyatt specifically so we'd have Jimi Hendrix here at the base. Um, you get a different character depending on who you save. Like, in addition to who you save, you get a, you get a unique character. And then also unique power-ups. So if you save Wyatt, you get permanent armor upgrades. And if you save Ferguson, you get permanent health upgrades. And this choice will carry over into the next game. Wolfenstein, uh, the new Colossus. Choices matter, yeah, except the, it carries over into the next game basically by loading your save data, and if you don't have any, letting you make the choice again, if I remember correctly. You know, it's like that thing for Mass Effect 3, the the interactive comic book for, for Mass Effect 3 that just lets you remake every important choice. Can I equip my... I can't get my laser cutter out right now. If we wanted to relive the glory days, we could do it on this bed. <clears throat> you know, back when back when video games were were good, quote unquote, apparently.
Uh, where's Max's room? I gotta go back in. Here it is. Max, I really need you to step aside. Max, bitte. Geht zur Zeit. Das er ist wichtig. Max, komm her. Come on. Alles in Ordnung. Alles wird gut sein. Sorry. I should have known you would have taken it. Got the folder. I'm sure that these two characters are not setting up anything sad for the future of this story. Much obliged, Captain Blaskovich. You ready for an assignment? Here comes the Home Depot theme. Friends and comrades, this is it. Project Whisper. It's been in development for years. A helicopter aircraft. The Nazis have found a way to make it virtually silent in flight and undetectable by means of radar. Anya has decrypted the Nazi chatter out of London and located the only three prototypes in existence at the London Nautica Research Facilities there. With Captain Blaskovich on the team, we are finally strong enough to strike at the operations. The days of scurrying like rats are over. With these machines in our possession, we can go anywhere, hit anything. We will rebuild the Kreisau Circle, arm ourselves to the hilt. We will rise up and take down death's head for good. They think the war's over, that we are weak, beaten, don't have the guts to oppose them. As always, they are wrong. I've got a 14 hour drive. I've got a sinus infection. I haven't had a full night's sleep in eight months. So let's go, people. Because I'm not doing this again. Thank you for doing this. <clears throat> Stop. He's not doing it again, that's for sure. So yesterday in this game, a, a Nazi lady mistook us for an Aryan. She, she, uh, she mistook us for a, for a pure-blooded Aryan. It, it worked in our favor. How dare she? This big fucking disgrace in yeah, how dare she be so America. stupid? This used to be downtown London. Used to be fighting in the streets over here. I mean, furious, unrelenting resistance. And then the Nazis brought in the London Monitor and everything went to shit from there. They just do whatsoever they please now. They just fucking leveled everything and erected this fucking monstrosity. It's a top Nazi research facility, this is. Aviation, space, all kinds of evil shit transpiring. Caroline and the other pilots should be over the radio tower by now. You see it. Anya's operating the radio back in Berlin. You can reach him using this. This is where you get off. So long, Blaskowitz. You make this count, all right? That's why he wasn't doing this again.
What a start to a mission. I'll go around. Jesus. It's like I'm trying to make my way through Midgar after the fucking Sector 7 plate collapsed. I mean, they might know I'm here, but they might not. I'm going to assume they don't. So, uh, we're about to learn about the Nazis landing on the moon in 1951. Their, their technology has advanced so rapidly. For, hold on, I gotta fight a mech. That was suspiciously easy. I'm going to assume the, the explosion had weakened them. But yeah, they, they we got to the moon in 69, I think. And uh, they, they, they made it to the moon in 51 in this universe. Okay, I don't think we're sneaking. I think they might know we're here. Oh, I'm out of grenades. I'm trying to throw a grenade. I don't have any. Yeah, because JFK said we'd make it by the end of the decade, and he was right. Barely. Dude, fuck off. I don't have the health for your bullshit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't look it up. 
because I forgot to, but I'm pretty sure Mick Gordon did this game's soundtrack. There we go, check this fucking thing out. Okay, how many Nazis are in this building? How was that for a fucking introductory gunfight? So welcome to a big fucking propaganda museum. That's what this place is. Here we go. I'd prefer if you let me open the door. Yeah, I guess this is not a stealth mission. I'm fine with that. Not fine with these things. Shit. Those turrets suck. Uh, drones. Those drones suck. But I have, I have, don't have very much assault rifle ammo. Alright, I'll take it a little slower. I shot a hole in the moon. No, I did it for Ramona Flowers. I guess that makes me Todd.
How? Why? I was basically at full health. <laughs> it's so easy to fuck up on on hard. Yeah, who needs a scope anyway? That guy was paying attention. Gun reacquired. This game likes to give you guns and then take them away. Do you see the door to the maintenance section? It's in the star field about halfway to the top of the dome. Can you find a way to reach it? What where what am I looking for? What did that lever do? I totally missed it. Oh 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 oh. It repositioned this satellite. I think. I can't laser that from here. There. Never mind, I guess I could laser that from here. Perfect. Yeah, they look fine. What's up about four safety breaks? Hold 
Hold on, let me take a look. I think I can fix this. Have a nice fall. I think I found something. What do you see? Ancient artifacts. Highly technological in nature. Parchment. Looks like Hebrew. I think the Nazis are trying to reverse engineer all this stuff. Are there any identifying marks? Dot? You should. Dog, Abel, apostrophe, Abel, Tara, space, yoke, item, Charlie, Hal, Uncle Dog. Might be something in our archives, Anya. See if you can find any references to Dot, you should. Will do. Be careful out there. I like her flask of it. Good catch. Be sure to bring as much of this dot you should stuff as you can carry. Will do. Uh. Foxtrot uniform, Charlie Kilo. I think we get a laser cutter upgrade. I think we're about to anyway. Hold on. I see what to do. This is, there's a very similar puzzle in, in Half-Life 1. Yeah, mine now, bitch. Wait, how do I switch this to... There we go. We can draw shapes. I was very impressed with this tech when I- the first time I played this game. Oh, just let me through, god. I wonder if there's anyone on that elevator.
Hold on, there's a secret here. I just gotta drop one more elevator real quick. I'm sure they won't mind. Wait, this was the way I had to go? Oh, I thought I was like, I thought I was onto a secret. Well, what's this then? Is this where I came from? Oh. Well, that's mildly disappointing. It's also a cabin on a hill. What? Yeah, what are you... What? Thanks for the vagueness, Sky. Really appreciate it. <laughs> what are we talking about? What am I out of the loop on? Loop on! Slay the princess. Okay. I've never heard of it, I don't think. Psychological horror text-based pick-a-path. Slay the Princess. Oh, you know what? I have heard of this because I've seen it recommended to me on Steam. Why are we, uh, this looks fucked. Why are we talking about this? The first image I saw was her, like, chewing her arm off. What game did you think we were talking about? I, for the moment, I was like, Alan Wake? But, no. I'm sorry, but that doesn't look like a game Sky would normally play. It's in discount right now. No, it isn't. It's not on discount on Steam. Oh, Boyfriend Dungeon. Boyfriend Dungeon is in discount, yes. So, wait, two friends already own this game. Sky, you saw the game called Slay the Princess, and you saw the picture, and you said, yeah, it looks like my kind of game. He's busy.
Slay the Princess is a choice-driven psychological horror visual novel dating sim with dramatic branching, light RPG elements, and hand-penciled art. Uh, eh. If you are an unstable girl kisser and can't afford therapy, try this. Absolutely an amazing indie game. I, I'm indulging in the first run, hoping other language settings like Chinese can come out soon, then I can play the game more smoothly. A visual novel with truly addicting and engaging narrative. Curiosity and hyperfixation grabbed me into distraction and didn't let go. I found a review that just says heart, lungs, liver, nerves, and repeats that several times. Yes, okay. Interesting. I'm gonna kill some Nazis. Do I want a copy of Boyfriend Dungeon? I think I'm okay. Unless you're asking Sky through my like the stream chat for some reason, but and I think I'm I think I'm okay. I got a lot of stuff coming out right now. I don't know if I'd have the time for Boyfriend Dungeon. I think all that's left in this room are these fucking robots. I really don't want to deal with them. Yeah, I know. I have an idea of what it's about. I also see the tag that it's an R RPG. And there are three RPGs coming out next month that I'd like to play. So... Like, I appreciate the offer, for sure. But I think- I don't think I'd get to it anytime soon, so it's- it's all good. Get off the gun. Aw, uh, you fucked up my turrets. Oh, now the Nazis are here. Listen, I'm just trying to destroy your robots. I haven't even used this thing as a weapon yet, and now I have a full auto upgrade for it. Okay, I just eviscerated that guy. Yeah, pick your head back up. Let me turn you into goo.
All right, I really need to find some supplies. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. That's a robot. That's a big robot. Quickly, quickly. Oh, you fuck. Got him. Right. Nazi's dead. Nazi robot's dead. Broke all your shit. Helicopter secure. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What do you guys think of doing some uh, Phasmophobia tomorrow? That's perfectly fine, Sky. Yeah, I just gotta find the button for the elevator. Neo, you DM'd me the other day and you were like, I've been looking into Phasmophobia, I'm ready to crack the puzzle. Something like that. Let's get you in this bad boy. We're stealing some high-tech Nazi helicopters for the cause. How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. So they found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. 
I've learned how to fly. What is the dot he should? How can we get in contact with him? Anya, what do we know? Very little. This what game is, is uh, something of an adrenaline rush. You take the lead on this. Quite, quite frequently. Whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? William, I could use your help. Okay, hold on. I It's cold in my apartment. And I need a, to grab a blankie. So give me just a second. I'm shivering. Could you come over here for a second? Hold on, I'm wrapping up in my blankie. This is the best uh, Inglorious Bastards game ever made. I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes, everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample whatever you need also there was this encrypted list of dad ye should members in poland during the war i need to compare it with the official german state records on jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. can you see if those records are in the archives room i'll get right on that and there's uh, one more thing um it's quite critical That'll be all. We can go now. Remember, real American heroes are bottoms. Don't forget that. I don't know, Neo, did he look like a power bottom yesterday? Take a moment to look around the base. Uh, 
Oh, the hangar's opened up. What was the question again? I said, did he look like a power bottom yesterday? Then there you then I I suppose you have your answer, don't you? Some bad mold. You keep meeting so many versions of that lady, I don't know how to keep track of which is which. What lady? This lady? There's only one. What do you mean? There's only one of her. The German lady that stabbed you through the hand. Neo, the German lady that stabbed me through the hand was on the train with the coffee. The lady in the wheelchair up there is my friend. Uh, so yeah, we the 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 lady who mistook us for an Aryan on the train and stabbed us through the hand. Uh, wait, who stabbed us through the hand? Now I'm trying to remember who who the fuck stabbed us through the hand. No, no, the lady who stabbed us through the hand was from the old blood. That was Helga, and she died at the end. And then there was the Nazi lady from this game on the train, which mistook us for an Aryan. And then. There's the lady in the wheelchair here at base who is not a Nazi. And is our friend. Avatar missing. That's because I forgot to turn Avatar back on. Why will Neo's confusing me? Because apparently all... Uh, <laughs> I thought they were related descendants or something. No. This is like... Less than a well, the beginning of this game is like less than a year after Old Blood. It's like days after Old Blood. But it's only been 14 years. There's, 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 they're, they're not related at all. I'm sorry. One of the ladies that you're thinking of, or two of the ladies you're thinking of are a Nazi, and the other one is our friend in a wheelchair. Anymore? Oh, God.
All right, so Helga got eaten by the big zombie, remember? And then the the blonde Nazi lady you're thinking of uh, gave us a, a test on the train and showed us photos and made us pick between them. And then we have wheelchair lady, who's just not a Nazi. That's the important thing to remember is that wheelchair lady isn't a Nazi. Christ. All right, back to base. Welcome back, Captain Blaskovich. Howdy, cowboy. What the damn hell are you doing? Science project. Well, you're scaring Max. Sorry, pal. Didn't know we'd flip out like that. His son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son. Born during the war. A miracle, he called it. Say so had tried for years to have a child. Him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father. For a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. So wife died from a bullet to the head. The child too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself. I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. What I've learned about Neo today is that all these old white ladies look the same to him. Sorry to call you out on that, Neo. <laughs> Alright, we gotta find Max's toys. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Uma Thurman is much more attractive. Just remember, Uma Thurman is the one that uh, Fall Out Boy wrote a song about. to say about Uma? I don't remember. I just remember they had a fucking- I'm pretty sure they have a song called Uma Thurman. I don't- you think I listen to Fall Out Boy?
I'm past my 14 year old girl phase of life. I'm sorry. Where, where's Max's other toys? I, 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 you'd think I'd have found at least one more of them by now. Oh, here we go. Sorry, Caroline. I'm just looking for Max's toys. You know, like lock that. I think maybe Wyatt has a key. Thanks, Jay. I really wish I could put those headphones on and listen to what he's hearing. dead body wanted to return him to the RAF but then there was no RAF best damn pilot I ever saw in a hell of a soldier I'm not cut out for this you know cut out for what this everything I was 18 years old and suddenly the war was lost everything good in the world died somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire you think I was ready for that kind of responsibility my ignorance got so many good people killed you remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed, sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. He just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed, he would have known what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left a boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. Not a child anymore, Captain. I know one mistake you made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? Here's a little piece of trivia for you. Both of the characters have a cutscene like that where they aren't thrilled with your decision on who to save. I'm missing a toy truck somewhere. Where's the toy truck?
Maybe it's in the archives. Truck. Is there a truck in here? There's a vent. Can I get up in that? Can I get... Can I... <laughs> uh, I don't think I can. Sorry. Found it. There you go, Max. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. Find what you were looking for in the archives? Yep. Got something. Uber concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on a dot issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tempering with a mix, someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in dot e shoot documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Wuj and sent off to a forced labor camp in Belice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. The labor camp excavates limestone from a quarry for a manufacture of uber concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find said broth, a living member of Dot Ishut. The problem is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. What is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? You ready for this, Blaskovich? Glad I get volunteered. So stupid. I was a spy, Arrogant. I guess. No one is ever ready for something like this. This is that lady that Neo was thinking of on the train. going to a forced labor camp we're, we're, we're becoming a prisoner so we can break out of prison The 
first day is tough, my friend. Clear to accept. It gets no easier than me. Now I can remember Nimir how many weeks long, months maybe. Not many survive for long. I was fighting the Nazis in Africa. I held them back for a while. My, it didn't the luck. It was too strong. Now I just try to survive, day for day. I'm looking for a man called Set Rod. I have heard of him. Survived in here longer than any other. He's in Block 4. Jay want to go there? Jay need director uniform. Who ever dumped? Look for a prisoner over there, by your right, dressed in a Block 4 uniform. Say now, Miss Milo. I heard his wife is quartered in our block. Maybe that will convince him to trade the uniforms with you. But they need to distract the guards first. I see. Fast friends. I gotta operate my fucking cement mi mixer. That's supposed to fall off. I hope they find what they seek, my friend. My name is Bombati. William J. Blaskowitz. And he's safe out there. <laughs> safe. <laughs> Okay. Mech. Xenogears had a prison break section. And that game had mechs. You! Have you seen my daughter? Set Roth. Oh, look at this Shimshin. So much muscle and physique. What the fuck come there? You said Roth? I'm not sure yet. What do you know of Set Roth? The doubt you should. Source of the Nazi technology. I'm here to rescue you. You're here to rescue This is wonderful. He's here to rescue me. Who will rescue him? And then uh, get your back, Shimshin. Don't waste your time. I swore an oath to never betray the secrets of Das Yiren. Fuck your oath. People are dying. The resistance calls on you. So it's a transaction of sorts, right? My personal freedom for the secrets I swore to keep. Sacrifice my honor on the altar of righteousness? Well, permit me a moment to consider, Shimshin. I like Set Roth. Here's my proposition to you. Aid me in closing this place down, and I will seat you and your comrades at the table of true power. Deal. I've been working on a little project. That machine, the more saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home them. Depot. Well, now this. Don't look at this so bluntly. This, for this I can seize control over that machine. Level the gates of this place free. Everyone, I only miss one more power. Name it. That's a power source. Now, that machine. 
Well, its electrical systems are powered by a detonic battery. You can find the detonic battery at the service station at the command building. It's in a different lock, lock six. If you can disable the automatic security systems monitoring the exits, you'll be able to make it into lock six. I believe that there, at the guards' barracks, there's a control module. It controls the security systems. Find a way in. Locate the control module. Disable the systems. Come back to me. Seriously, this, this game uses similar chord progressions to the fucking Home Depot theme. I've, I've never been able to not hear it. And now surely you won't either. And here's a boss remix of the Home Depot theme. I don't know who I don't know who fucking who fucking composed the by the way industry baby almost came on I don't know who fucking composed the uh the theme for um Home Depot commercials but what what were they they were they were cooking It's like it's Home Depot let's do like like a low guitar build up with like industrial sounds. Ed Ender of Worlds. You know, I realized the guy in the picture whose name was Ed, but that also looks like it says Erectile Dysfunction Ender of Worlds, which is also a true statement. Um, listen, I don't know. If I had ED, if I developed ED, unless I'm like eight, if I'm 80 years old, then maybe I could live with it. But if I was like 37 and I had ED, I don't know. I don't know about that. Might have to say goodbye. At 80, it's like, I don't even got the, the, the energy left to, to care, right? Mark my words, March 25th, or March 24th, 20 whenever I turn 80, uh, 20, 2079, March, March 24th, 2079, I'll have my, I'll have my last cranky wanky. And then the next, the very next day, like, I just won't have the energy to do, to do that anymore. Oops. Solche 
Dreistigkeit habe ich von Ungeziefern wie dir noch nie gesehen. Unglaublich. Au. Da denkt man, man wüsste, wie ein Insekt denkt. Und was von ihm zu erwarten ist. Doch man geschieht. Uh, yeah, good idea. Leave that sticking out of me. We're built Tonka tough. By the way, I'd like to point out, once again, our guns have been taken away from us. You know, because we needed to sneak into a prison camp. Signal detected. Don't turn around. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Now I have two knives. You know, it's funny, you might think, like, the way we're stabbing these Nazis would call cause them to cry out and give away our position. But if Christopher Lee is to be believed, and I imagine he is, uh, when he, he served, I don't remember what war, war or wars he was in, but he was, he was acutely aware of the fact that when rushed with a bayonet, the stab takes the breath out of your lungs. I know this because there's a, a behind-the-scenes clip from Lord of the Rings where he's talking to... Uh, where he's talking to, um, the director, uh, I should know his name, about it. For one of the scenes where Sauron gets stabbed. I fear how he knew that tidbit. Well, he was a soldier. Obviously, he wasn't dead. Peter Jackson, yeah, yeah, yeah. The father of Percy Jackson. But yes, obviously Christopher Lee wasn't dead, so there's a very good chance it was either, you know... Best case scenario, he saw... Well, I guess this isn't best case scenario either, but he saw... Comrades go down that way, or he saw people going down that way at the end of his bayonet. I mean, he's 
a soldier. <clears throat> but <sighs> while not the most savory aspect of life, it's uh, sometimes a very necessary part of it, unfortunately. Christopher Lee and Tolkien would both have had that, uh, you know, that similar experience. Where is it? Where is Set Roth? I got his thing. Hold on, let me see if I can find this video because I'm talking about it. Here we go. You ought to see me with the 357 Magnum. I'm awesome. When Worm Tongue rises up and comes up behind Simon to stab him, um, of course it was my job as director to talk to Christopher Lee and to explain to him what I, what I wanted. So I started to go into this long explanation about what sort of sound he should make when he got stabbed. I seem to recall that I did say to Peter, have you any idea of what kind of noise happens when somebody is stabbed in the back? And I said, well, because I do. It's because the breath is driven out of your body. He proceeded to sort of talk about some very clandestine part of World War II. He used to be in the, the British Secret Service, whatever they were called, the OSS. He seemed to have expert knowledge of exactly the sort of noise that they make, and so I just sort of didn't push the subject any further. I just said, well, you obviously know what to do, Christopher, so I'm sure you'll do it great, and he did. <laughs> So there you have it. Intimately aware, I think, is the way you would describe his knowledge of that. Or, yeah, to just listen to him. I mean, I'm sure there's a little bit of that, like, you know, I have respect for this guy. He's also my elder. And you don't... I don't know. When it comes to that sort of thing, you, I, I don't think you, you... I don't really think you push. I understand, like, wanting to go for the dramatic flair. Oh, here he is. But, you know, sometimes it's... Sometimes you just gotta go for... Sometimes you just gotta go along with it. Uh, sometimes we have to find other ways of resistance than violence. The slightest adjustment of the chemicals destabilizes the mixture. Structural soundness erodes. Mold develops up. Secure the systems. It's done. Wow, Shimshin. What is your name, Nikola? Blaskovich. Blaskovich, yes, Blaskovich. Oh, yes, that, that too. Systems are, are, are disabled. You can go past this gate, back through the factory, out the blue gate, inside block six, where the command control building is located. Sneak inside, get the detonic battery. Please act urgently before anyone notices what you have done. That's good luck. It's funny though, ain't it? It's not unusual to think that a war veteran has killed people. In fact, it's one of the only times where it's socially acceptable to have to have killed somebody. And how easily we forget. 
you know, a, a beloved actor like Christopher Lee knows what it's like to to actually kill someone. And thousands of other people, just normal people, I'm plenty of other actors and writers and storytellers also know what it's like. Obviously, life is probably pre uh, preferably lived if you can go your entire life without ever having to kill anyone. But there's a lot of people. Has to be in here somewhere. There are there are a lot of people, probably for a good chunk of my lifetime, who will be alive now, who at one point in history had no choice. Like, sure, you can say there's always a choice, but what choice is there, you know, between your life and that of another when you've been drafted into a war? I didn't need these streams to get so real all of a sudden. But yeah, I I, I thought that was... I mean, it, it just started as like, here's a neat detail I can share about getting stabbed in the back. Um, But yeah, no. It's just one of those unfortunate aspects of reality, I suppose. Should I try and unlock things for tomorrow? Are you referring to... Playing Phasmophobia and unlocking equipment. Uh, if you want to play that game solo, go f for it. Well, I didn't get it. I didn't stab that guy. I just gave him two concussions. that character what, what did that character from Ratatouille always say I killed a man with this thumb something like that Love that fucking guy. That was one of my favorite gags in that movie when I was a kid. Hey, 
And, um, you know, if that interview is correct, not only was Christopher Lee in World War II, you know, a, a soldier in World War II, he was a member of British Secret Service. <laughs> you know, there is a Christopher Lee role that's not so great, I can think of right off the top of my head. Not to not to hate on Christopher Lee, because I love him, but you know, there was and I'm not thinking of Count Dooku. Um There was this terrible movie he was in in the eighties. Uh, your sister is a werewolf. I recommend taking a look at that movie. Never heard of that one. I watched uh, John Tron review it. No, I don't think we need to watch it. Sky, I think you just need to like look it up. I love Christopher Lee, but yeah, he was in at least one movie that feels like he, he should have never been anywhere near. It's actually... No, it's definitely, like, bad, cheesy, enjoyable, but I don't know if we need to watch it. Okay. Ein Saboteur. Wir sehen ja kenne ich von der Selektion wieder. Allein. Das war vorbei. Der Nachtzug. Kein Abzeichen zu erzählen, ist ein Amerikaner oder ein Gäste? Ein Amerikaner? Gut. Sofortige Liquidierung von ihm. Allen Insassen von Block 4. Und eine eindrückliche Warnungszeit für all die Schweine, die allein auf das gedacht haben. What were you thinking, you stupid idiot? Yeah, that sounds dumb too. Graphic content warning coming up. You've been warned. Close your eyes now. Yeah, how ironic that the lady who is so obsessed with purity 
and perfection got her face mangled. We tell them to camp. Open the garage door, steal a vehicle, and crash through the gate. Let's go. Now this is what this is what I'm talking about. You guys like my mech? breaking everyone out. I suggest you stop shooting at me. Oh, 
All right, I'm coming. mystical society. For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, you... no, Mamale, we don't pray. We invent things, Mamale. The technology developed at Daasichas is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined, and highly dangerous in the wrong hands. The Nazis found our safe key. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found others. Great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeeper's hidden deep below the Atlantic Ocean. We will need a U-boat capable of great depths. That's all. We cannot just walk up and steal a gosh darn Nazi U-boat. Can we? I know how to get a U-boat, but for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Sichud engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We would need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, help him out, sir, if you'd be so kind. Hmm? Oh! Oh, say you're good, say you're good. Oh, Mr. Blaskovich, I will need some welding equipment, please. All right. We're going to do like one more mission Second. in this, I think. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you were doing to my subordinates. Look, Bombate survived. He just got very wounded. You don't believe in You believe in Other we we have other new people here too. Touching my baby girl without permission now, soldier man. You just stick to them guns and the Nazi killer. What about you? Why don't you step up and join the fight? What fight? Your fight? You took your orders from the man. The U.S. motherfucking government, man. What a trip. The war came and the man came calling. He sent my daddy to war and he did not return him. The bombs fell on our great cities and the man ran scared. Motherfucking gave up, you know? Nazis asked him to get down on his knees, and the man was all too happy just to pucker up and start kissing Nazi ass like it was the most natural thing in the world, you know? I had to cross an ocean to get away from that place. They would have thrown me in the gas chamber just like they did all the others. None of that has anything to do with me. That's not the America I fought for. Really? I was little. My mother wanted to take me to the picture show, but we had to go in through the fucking colored entrance. I wanted a hot dog and a lemonade, but the sign says we don't serve Negroes in this establishment. Your patriot. Blue-eyed, jawhead, motherfucking Nazi-killing patriot that you are, you're still a fucking puppet to the man. You're exactly the kind of guy they ordered in come lynching time. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Before all this, before the Germans, before the war, back home, man, you were the Nazis. <clears throat> Be careful what you call me. <sighs> Violence. Language of the man. Can't you see? We're all just brothers and sisters now, aren't we? Hey, soldier man. 
You play? Pretty little girl, I chanced to meet and we danced by the light. Little old gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Come out tonight. Won't you come out tonight and dance by the light? Open. We just dropped acid. Also, a moment in the game to establish the storytellers are aware that America. Uh, not exactly a perfect place either. Someone's been studying up on helicopters. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just my wedding ring. It's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of you. Dear Sebastian. <laughs> what are you eating? Beans? What the man? Yeah, um, in the next game, uh, we, we, we meet the KKK. dreadful group oh yeah and the irony you know because it's an alternate history but things that happened are still happening so the kkk still happens in america the the irony is that it the kkk becomes a group that is tolerated by the nazis I mean, it, from the storyteller's point of view, it's the perfect way to introduce a reason for, in the hangar, um, he's tinkering with them helicopters. Uh, people who are allied with the Nazis that you have to fight from America, you know, American Nazis, essentially. Really? From 
Ježiš, idem. What's up, Captain? Looking for the welder. You seen it? Oh, yeah. I, I was attempting to fix the broken railing over at the secret fountain entrance, and I dropped a welder in the water. I haven't gotten around to fishing it out yet. Maybe you could give it a shot? Look by the secret fountain entrance, Captain. I dropped a welder in the water. Hey, Jay, could you hand me that screwdriver? No problem, man. Jay? What? I asked you to hand me the screwdriver. Just toss it over here. Oh, right. Even when he's down here without his guitar. Working on a riff, man. In your head, don't you need a guitar or something? Inspiration strikes like lightning. You gotta punch the ticket. Take the ride then and there, you know? Or else it drifts off into the great beyond. Uh-huh. You know, I dabbled in music a little bit while I was at Harvard. Hmm. Yep, play clarinet in the marching band. That's cool, man. Even wrote some melodies myself. I don't think I can remember them now, but... I'm sorry, man. Could you just be quiet for a moment? Yeah. I'm losing my group. Okay. Shh. Sorry. Genius at work here. You gotta let him let him have his moment. Let that inspiration do its work while it's there. All right, so our next uh, our next main mission is going to be uh, stealing a U-boat. If we're going to, sorry, pal, don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Uh, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changing. No matter who you are, what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration for near that time come. You're on. I like the defense system built into this door. For assault rifles, just poking out the front of it. But I mean, again, the devs of this series are being trusted with the Indiana Jones license, so... I gotta imagine they've done something right. Da 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 da. 
That should be the uh, the puzzle solve jingle in the Indiana Jones game. the way I, I have to go? Yeah, it looks like it. I hope I don't attract any unwanted attention. Charge, charge. Well, this thing makes short work of those guys. Uh, great. This is, okay, so there's a conversation we're overhearing. A lady reporting one of her neighbors because she saw their son trying on his mom's lipstick. Oh. Aren't you glad the Nazis lost? And that's how this tunnel connects to this room. Got it. Alright, we gotta find her ring. Found it.
Yeah, you're welcome. That's all I need. Or actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Like I'm a goddamn errand boy. William. Do you have a moment? Stuplaskovitz Kazan. Schon wieder mit dieser Unsinn. Mein Gott, was ist nur los mit dieser Leute? I want this with you. Like this. Always. It will happen, William. Believe it. Listen to my voice, Blaskovich. There you are now, inside sewage tunnels. The intestinal tracts of the city. And deeper below, the Berlin Catacombs. A vast complex. The most secure site in all Berlin. The central munition stockpile of the Nazi regime. The things we could do with those weapons. Riot. We revolt. This access wound is waterlocked. Impenetrable to outsiders. There's only one way to breach across the perimeter. It's a tunnel glider. The Nazis use them for maintenance down there. We've been trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the burning catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck, Sir Blaskovich. Uh, th this thing looks like a lot of fun to ride. Can you hear me? You have to make your way through the sewer and into the burning catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. This thing looks like a Star Wars vehicle. the way you use the vocabulary word neutralize. the statue. I don't mind the change of pace for this mission. Uh, 
Okay, I was just seeing if there's any reason that I could poke my head out of the water in this room. But I don't see anything. This time there's a reason. <laughs> Alright, we just need that open spot. And the one behind it. Underwater. But yeah, I mean, even like a section like this, you can definitely see the foundations for making an adventure game from, you know, from this studio. Yeah, I mean, straightforward, but not any less straightforward than Uncharted. For the longest time, I remember Uncharted being described as, you know, modern day Indiana Jones video game. This appears to be a dead end. Wait, no. What's, what's the, uh, what's, what's going on in this tunnel? Is it just a dead end? It seems so. Alright, I don't think there's anything I can do down here. Okay, I gotta raise the water level somehow, I think. I think that's what's going on. Worried it was going to be on a timer for for a second there. Okay, now, 
the way forward is to just go through that tunnel, but now I think the way I went earlier has a reason. Treasure. And I think this looped us around to an earlier room. It did. Alright, I guess that's the end of... Well done, William. This is as far as the tunnel glider will take you. Through the last section, you will have to swim. The catacombs are close. Yay. Ooh. Swam across Varney Lake on a bed over ten soldiers. It wasn't as dark as this. Yeah, I'm glad this sewer has a submersible mine. Okay, I can't switch this, and it has to stay on the uh, close range mode. Armor upgrade. to clear out of our way. Age 19. Dove down the well to salvage father's watch. But it wasn't as deep as this. this back here then all 
Apparently a passageway to a dark area. So what's the... Um, what's the point of getting in here? Is there an item I just... I'm not seeing? Okay. Whatever. Excellent, Captain Raskovich. You are now inside the Fabian's Deep. This is the second phase of the plan for the accident of sets underwater safe keep. In this condition, stocks there is a cargo train. The train is packed full. Small arms, artillery shells, for distribution to the Nazi war machine. We will steal this train. Small arms we can use to strengthen our fighters, but the real target is securing the torpedo delivery. This will allow you to board and seize control of a Nazi U-boat. But first things first, steal the train. We're stealing a train. Well, this seems potentially dangerous. Capitan spotted. Now to find the other one. Seems to be over this way. Shiza. That takes care of that asshole. I'm glad I got caught pretty much right after this guy complimented my stealth. It. Now that looks like a Neo comment. Especially with the crying emoji at the end. What are you trying to say? <laughs> that... That I pay attention to how you type in the chat.
Ah, <laughs> uh, Shiza. That guy's gonna blow up. No? No? Okay. Oops. Well, there goes that throwing knife. Armor maxed out. Oh, that's my kind of propaganda. Phew. Bye bye, you've been evaporated. Sometimes you just need two guns. Christ. Fuck.
Yeah, how'd that feel? I'm willing to bet it felt pretty good. God damn, this part's not easy. Oh, god damn. I don't have any grenades and these big fucking guys suck.
Sorry, I accidentally unplugged my mic during all that frustration. Why is this fucking guy got infinite health? <laughs> this fight looks rough. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking guy doesn't want to go down. Christ on a cross. And then two more of them appear. Like, fuck me. Look, I found a- I found a cheese. I'll get ya. Yeah, I'll, like this is this is a fucking s sudden difficulty spike. Slog. <laughs> Listen, I've got it. I've got them now. All right. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I just had to get to one of their armors or er, and and gun. And I was all set. Park, was it? No. 
No. No, it wasn't. Uh, I'll just get to work. I have a friendly face. Delivers to the Navy Yard. Alles in Ordnung, Horst? Du, nimm nicht so viele Kissen, sonst merken die, dass etwas nicht stimmt. Ja, ja. They supply the torpedoes to all the Nazi U-boats in Europe. You will hide in the torpedo. Horst will slip it back into main supply. And you will wake up on a U-boat for breakfast time. Once we have a U-boat, we take it to set secret safe keep, yeah? This is a plan. Get in the way. Bang bang's all the pop. Air holes. Okay, Carrer Johnny. Get in the torpedo. Once you board the U-boat, patch this thing into the communication room. And raise the antenna buoy. We need radio contact. He's getting on board the uh, Titan submarine. The dark dreams seem to fade. Too far out of reach. For now, I just miss the light. Okay, this is where we're going to save this for now. The beginning of this mission. <sighs> I'm going to consider that last fight a boss battle. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do some phasmophobia. Wolfenstein will return soon. Uh, probably before that, Final Fantasy 16. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. Stay excellent. All that fun stuff.